Hey everyone, this is Sally. I want to show you a beautiful mini album that I have completed today. I've been working on this one for several days. And uh, first of all, let me say to all of you that have been contacting me through Facebook, through uh, YouTube messaging, that, <clears throat> excuse me, I do appreciate you checking in with me. I have uh, been ill for several weeks, haven't really been able to do a lot of scrapbooking. And before that, I was working on my uh, new Etsy shop, which is children's clothing, and that is Sally Shabby Couture on Etsy. But um, anyway, I was able to get this album finished and uh, been going through some family issues. I uh, had to do some traveling. So it's just been a very busy, traumatic uh, past couple of months. But here I am back again. Uh, and once again, thank you for inquiring. So ladies, this is a beautiful shabby sheet mini, and this is the paper stack that I used. I uh, picked this up at Hobby Lobby the other day. No, I'm sorry. I believe I got this at Michael's. Um, anyway, beautiful, beautiful shabby papers, So, and you'll, you'll be able to see some of those. The uh, entire album, I'm only using the papers from this paper stack. And some lovely graphics from Seneca Pond Crafts that you are just going to love. So let me tell you a little bit about this front cover. Uh, I've just added chipboard uh, front and back cover and for my spine. And those of you that are familiar with my Bulky Bliss mini album, this is made with the same binding method. And um, for this one, I used paper bags inside instead of what I normally use. And so this one is a little larger. Uh, my normal Bulky Bliss minis are 8 by 6 This one is actually, the cover is 10 and a half by uh, 7 I believe. But uh, let me check that real quick for you. Yes, it's 7. So, uh, this one is a little larger. And the paper bags that I used are bags that come comes uh, from Sam's. And <clears throat> let me show you the size. Oops, that is actually something all that I'm working on. So here is the size of this paper bag. It's really large. Uh, it's a 12 pound bag and the dimensions of these bags are about 13 and a half by 7. 13 and a half by 7. So they're quite larger than the lunch bags. So they give you a lot of room for embellishing. And isn't that what it's all about, ladies? Love it, love it. So on this front cover, uh, I put the title, Our Family, by making a beautiful tag using uh, several layers of different colored paper. I've used a paper doily, uh, several actually. I uh, made a little pocket with those, added some bling, some pretty floral. And on my uh, flowers and the leaves, I actually put some gesso on those to tone down the brush coloring. I love the white. Uh, paint dabbed on those and it makes it really shabby cheap. Added some beautiful trim, rosette trim, um, some tool which is tied here, netting and beautiful beautiful ribbon. And so that's our front cover. The spine has some more of that beautiful trim and some of the paper that's in the paper stack in the back. <clears throat> so because this is quite uh, large it's gonna be hard for me to get the entire thing in the camera so I'm using my iPhone ladies and um, it's shaky I know and I do apologize for that but I don't have my tripod right now with me so just want to get this done maybe I can sit it up instead of laying it flat to show you yeah I think that'll work pretty good let me just move it down just a tad and tilt it back. Now the thing about the Bulky Bliss again that I love, I will lay it down to show you how when you're looking at a bulky album, you know a lot of times you're just fighting this front cover to hold it so you can look at all the pages, but this Bulky Bliss, so wonderful how it all just lays flat. Love, love, love it. And I do have the tutorial for the Bulky Bliss album in my Etsy shop. And you can find me on Etsy. Uh, my shop is Scrapbook Giggles. So scrapbookgiggles.etsy.com will find the shop. So on the inside cover, I made a really pretty pocket. And aren't these papers just gorgeous? And I've tied the tool. And here we have a pull-out photo wallet. Beautiful papers. They are just gorgeous. Love them. So this 
will give you plenty of room for photos. And that just slips back in. And on the pockets, um, I've added gussets so they're not just flat. So you do have a good bit of space there to insert tags. And you can even put lots of extra photos in here. And here you have a journaling tag here. Over here on this pocket, I have added some pretty embellishment. Here is a uh, tag which I made into a pocket. Now I want to tell you about these gorgeous graphics. These are the Seneca Pond graphics. Uh, Eileen has some beautiful printables. You can find her on um, Etsy and um, Artfire and you can also find her by tapping in Seneca Pond Crafts. Uh, dot com, I believe. Anyway, I'll have all the links to her uh, places where you can find her printables, ladies. And she is so reasonable. But aren't they gorgeous? Look at that. It's so pretty. Now, this is her, uh, I believe she's tiling this set, Shabby Roses. And I used all of the little printables. Uh, and there were more papers and stuff that I didn't use because I had already started my album. Uh, with this paper stack. But it's just so pretty. And you should go and check it out. Look at this. This tag came on an 8 by 10 I mean 8 and a half by 11 uh, sheet that you just print and cut out all these graphics. Aren't they gorgeous? This tag is so pretty. And here I have a pull out photo mat. Just so pretty. And of course here you could do some journaling or add a picture or just leave it. The paper is gorgeous. And so in the end of every paper bag, and remember these are the large paper bags, so I was able to make some gorgeous large tags. Love it, love it. This is so pretty, ladies. And this is just a graphic that I already had printed out that I was going to use in this album before Eileen sent me her beautiful Shabby Roses set. So all of these tags have uh, graphics that I printed from my files. Look ladies how pretty this blue corresponds so well together so gorgeous uh whoever gets this album you are really going to love it the size is awesome and the pocket here so gorgeous love it love it here's just some tags you can add journaling and a photo on the back if you like and this one i have done some um texturing with my embossing folders so pretty and this is one of the seneca pond crafts um printables that was on that eight and a half by 11 sheet of course I, there were two sheets that I printed and this is just like a little file folder and I uh, inserted these little tags in there so pretty so cute so uh, over here we have another pocket and these papers again from that paper stack is so gorgeous and here we have a pull out tag this is one of the printables from Seneca Pond Crafts. Excuse the way I sound, ladies. I have allergies, cold. I've just been wrestling this junk for so long. And here is our pull-out tag from the end of the bag, which also matches that paper. So gorgeous. Love it, love it. And look at this printable. Now on the back of this tag, I've got my podge. For this graphic so pretty and here we go these two pages are so pretty also love the pinks the greens and the blue very shabby chic colors my little photo wallet and here we have a little pocket a little tag so gorgeous. There's a big photo mat. Here's another one of those. It's like a little library pocket that you print. And it's it's got the folds and everything. All you have to do is fold them back. Beautiful. And our large pull out tag. And this will be on eBay, ladies. I'll get this on eBay tonight. These two pages. Gorgeous. Look at that pocket. So pretty. Love it. Here's our pull out tag that wallet for photos here's another large photo mat I love this photo mat so pretty and I added this lace and here is our pull out tag for this one 
another beautiful pocket. Beautiful tags, so pretty. I did this with one of my embossing folders. Okay, and this page is just gorgeous. It's just a large photo mat. And of course, I forgot to mention that I do have machine stitching on all of these. If I can get my iPhone to focus. There's machine stitching. So nice. Love the effect that it gives. And our pull out tag for this one. And this is some more of Eileen's graphics. Over here. I hope you are loving the colors of this album. I'm just adoring this paper stack. It's so pretty. I'm going to have to get another one of these paper stacks because they're just gorgeous papers. And of course, I did get it 50% uh, off too. Michaels has a sale going on, ladies, this week. Look at this. It's so gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. And look at the tag I found. Uh, this pretty graphic in my files and printed that. And here we have another wallet for photos. Okay, the back side. Over here on this page, we've got the pocket here, and I may use one of uh, Eileen's little um, folder graphics, and then I added this pretty little text block, and I've stuck some tags down in there. Sorry, these came from Eileen's set, Chevy Rose set. This is one of um, Eileen's Seneca Pinecraft printables, also from her Shabby Rose set. So gorgeous, ladies. Gotta go get some of her graphics. They're just beautiful. Here I made another little file folder. And um, inside I've got this little tag that I stitched around. It would be good for journaling. Excuse me, ladies. Do that later. And here is our pullout tag for photos. And of course, you can always put photos on the pages. And here's our pull-out tag. So pretty. And see, I've added some little cutouts and, and did Mod Podge. And it's so gorgeous. Okay. These two pages, really pretty. I've got another one of the little library pockets from Seneca Pond Crafts. Family memories. Here's our pull out photo mats. One beautiful day. So pretty. This is a tag from one of my other paper stacks. And a pull out tag. I'm sorry <laughs> for this one. Just beautiful, beautiful. And again, machine stitching on all of these. And this is our last page and our back cover. So gorgeous. There you have it, ladies. So uh, if you're interested in buying this one, go to eBay tonight and check it out. And as soon as I get it listed, I'll come back to my YouTube video and post the link to the eBay sale. Thanks, ladies.